Shiana SHS student dismissed for insulting Akufuado. Me me shade we no, and I meet here as some way no. First question, maybe say and say, uh, Dabena insulting the president became a crime in Ghana. I am not by this saying, say to insult in a air deeper. But so we shall, uh, me person me tea insult Ben or Moody insulted the president. The same president, I was a na I see who insulting and I punish you. No, I let me insulting former president, friend professor do little. In Kikan, same, same. So I thought, sir, the children learned from maybe the current president. They were learning from, from us. Train up a child in the way he should go. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. And on a Bible, he will not depart And he said, no. No, sir. He will be a president at Mikael Professor at this time. He is a person who is in Kikan, same. He will be a president. He will be a how can you insult the president? It's an Kuma senior lawyer. Ever out, ever case. It is not a crime to insult the president. And if it is not a crime to insult the president, over a senior lawyer there, me senior no nanti. I will say, say, uh, he knows the law more than I do. No, no, case. It's a flashback. <laughs> it is not an offense to insult the president. It's an Kuma. Um, Tuesday, eleventh August, twenty twenty. Lawyer is an Kuma. In September 2017, rose to the defense of NDC Syria caller Frank Waku Apia, who is popularly known as Apia Stadium, for tagging President Nana Akufu Addo as a wee smoker. <coughs> Following Apia Stadium's arrest, Mr. Is, uh, is Uncommon noted that insulting the president is not an offense according to the laws of the country, and therefore um, his arrest was uncalled for. <coughs> he said, until 2001, it was an offense to insult the president. Section 183A mm. of the Criminal Offenses Act mm. provided that if a person who intends to bring the president into hatred, ridicule, or contempt publishes any defamatory or insulting matter about the president, that person could be liable to a fine and or imprisonment but come 2001 the npp government repealed this session together with the repeal of the then criminal labor laws wow when he or person on your glory now see npp repealed that law law now npp government and repeal it you know and then we are going so the arrest of those children now we say oh my insulted president and i think the arrest was unlawful and their dismissal was unlawful because see, it is not an offense. So if they insulted the president, what offense had they committed? Any question or say Ebisa? Well, sir, in painful eti or my because of their political gains, no more kikan some and some I insist on can no more kikan because they will benefit from it. Now say there's a change. No be so then a can they should think say. Uh, uh, Ghanaians are stupid to sit down and clap for them. I think that those students must be, yes, uh, they could be warned. So it's not good to say those things about the president. And then they will be brought toward a uh, caution. But to dismiss them, whilst the constitution provides that no child should be what, deprived of what education. Which part of the code of conduct and our laws I want GS a uh, 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 to say, say, say if you saw the president should be dismissed? I believe that the, I mean, and it was not even the decision was not even taken by the institution, the school. It was taken by the GS. I think that whoever took that decision, maybe he's trying to uh, show say or, or Bojuma, my president, you know, maybe trying to catch the attention of the president. And I think that the president, being a lawyer, a senior lawyer for that matter, and a human rights advocate, upon which he wrote to become the president, should come out to say, say, the students should go back to school; they should be reinstated. This is wrong. I mean, I mean, I say, yes, we have to caution them. We must all be measured in what our statement but when it is about politics i I, mean, I want to hear insult what even is the insult i almost say the people insulted the president 
Now, so I think that, I mean, that the, the decision was too harsh. In fact, it is uncalled for. The student could have been reprimanded. Don't do this. It's not good. So and so. And they could be made to apologize. Punish them. Uh, yeah. I mean, uh, at the school level. But to dismiss them, I think it's wrong. You have taken their, their, your, their rights away from them. Their right to what? Education. I think it, it, it is very bad. And I will not support that. As, as it, because it is not an offense to insult the president. If it is not an offense, on what basis are you punishing them? 